Hello viewers, today I'll show you how to install Dropbox on KDE. I'm using Kubuntu 904 right now, but you can use this tutorial to install Dropbox on any other system with KDE. First, we need to download Dropbox. Here you can see a link for download. You will be able to find it on my blog too, so you don't have to write it down right now. I already have it in my home folder. You should place it there too before we move to the next step. So here it is. Step number two is just to extract this ar archive. Right click on it and go to extract archive here. You can't see the folder uh, after extracting because it's hidden. To view it, go to view, show hidden files or you can click on you can press alt dot on your keyboard so the folder we are looking for is this one and we can move to step number three in this step we need to enter this folder and to find a file called dropbox d we need to run this file in order to start a wizard which will guide us through dropbox installation you can press F4 on your keyboard or you can go view panels terminal to s be able to see a terminal below your dolphin window it's really easy what you need to do now is to type dot slash drop box D and then just press enter okay drop box D and press enter We will just give to wait a few seconds. Here it is, the winder, the wizard. Okay, moving to step four. You just follow the wizard. If you're new to Dropbox, you need to create an account. I already have one, so I'll just click here and then move forward. You need to enter your email. Please don't spam me. <laughs> and my password you can give a name here or you can leave it just like this okay we are moving forward okay we can choose a free version 2 gigabytes 50 gigabytes which is 9.99 per month and 100 which is 19.99 per month okay we'll just stick with the free version and we are moving forward we will be able to learn a little bit more about Dropbox here. I'll just go forward and again and again and again and this step is important. You can choose where you want to put your Dropbox. Okay. I will just leave it uh, with the default location which is in my home folder and then folder Dropbox. Just click on finish and open my Dropbox. Okay, not that. Okay. So here is my Dropbox folder. You can see the Dropbox is syncing with the server right now. It's here in the system tray. It's still working. We'll just wait a few seconds. And it's done. So you can see my files in my Dropbox folder. Let's see what we have here. Just few photos. Okay that's pretty much it we're almost done we just need to do one more thing okay moving to step number five it is creating a sim link to a kde auto start folder to do this we will just go here it's really easy click on split and then just go home we need to find this kde folder and then just enter here and then to auto start and we need to link this file which we used a bit earlier just drag it to auto start folder leave and click on link here and here it is so Dropbox will now auto start every time we turn our computer on and every time we see a KD desktop which we all love so that's pretty much it Thanks for watching and don't forget to visit my blog. 
See you soon with some new videos.